Appreciate it. Oakland A's fans have heard Glenn Kuyper calling games for the last two decades. Now he's out of a job, let go by NBC Sports after a controversial moment. It happened before a May 5th game against the Royals. During the broadcast, he was talking about visiting the Negro Leagues Baseball, baseball Museum when it sounded like he used a racial slur. He apologized for that. He was put on leave and then fired. Betty Yu is here tonight. So, Betty, the president of the museum he was talking about actually said he was disappointed that Kuiper was fired. That's right. He said he's disappointed and he feels sad right now. Tonight, Kuiper himself released a statement calling it a mistake. He also stated that he's not a racist and described himself as an honest, caring, and respectful husband and father who would never utter a disparaging word about anybody. His statement read in part, I wish the Oakland A's and NBC Sports would have taken into consideration my 20-year career, my a solid reputation, integrity, and character, but in this current environment, traits like integrity and character are no longer considered. I will always have a hard time understanding how one mistake in a 20-year broadcasting career is cause for termination, but I know something better is in my future. Kuiper was suspended by the network earlier this month after he said he unfortunately mispronounced the word Negro during his excitement in talking about his visit to the Negro League Museum in Kansas City. What came out was a racial slur. He apologized thereafter and today also said he was grateful for all of the support he's received, including from museum president Bob Kendrick. It's a painful lesson for all of us. It, it also lets us know again in this this crazy world, particularly this crazy world of social media that we live in now, a simple mistake can be compounded in such a way. And, and I think that's the thing that I found to be a little bit disheartening. Um, again, personally speaking, I did not want to see Glenn lose his job over this. It's, it's sad that he will have to pick up the pieces now Bob said that he felt the suspension was punishment enough and he feels sorry for Glenn and his family. He also fully accepts his apology. He said they had a wonderful time together at the museum earlier that day. Gotten a lot of negative attention for the fact that I was willing to forgive. I just believe that it was a mistake. It was a, a very insensitive mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. And, and I do believe that some folks believe that forgiveness is condonement. And, and no, we don't condone what was said or done, but we do have the capacity to forgive those who make a mistake. Bob also mentioned that this firestorm came right after the museum announced that they would build a brand new facility and headquarters for black baseball and social history. He said, hopefully we all can take away or learn something from this unfortunate incident. Sarah. All right, Betty, thank you so much for sharing that. You know, there's been a lot of reaction to this, what was said to the firing, all of it, and some of that happening online. Athletic Rants on Twitter wrote in part, it's possible to be disappointed that Glenn Kuyper will no longer be calling A's games while also not condoning the use of racial slurs. Both can be true. Tim Kawakami, the Athletic, a longtime Bay Area sports journalist, tweeted, nobody did this to Glenn Kuyper. He did it to himself. His job is to speak on television. If you can't avoid saying racial slurs when you're on TV, then you probably won't be on TV for long. Obviously, a lot of opinions about this uh, from fans, but also, as you heard from people who knew Kuiper, he worked with the A's for 20 years. This is a small market. The media landscape mm -hmm. is not a big one in the Bay Area, and I know you know Kuiper also. Yeah, I've known him for a long, long time, but Tim Kawakami, harsh, but he's right. You cannot use a racial slur under any circumstance. It is indefensible, and it did cost Glenn Kuyper his job. He's the younger brother of Giants announcer Dwayne Kuyper, and Glenn had been doing A's games for 20 years. And on a personal note, yeah, I've known Glenn. I know him. Not a racist bone in his body. I've known him for over 30 years. He was one of my sports interns at another Bay Area TV station down the street. I have always known him as a good, stand-up, knowledgeable, talented guy but we are all responsible for what we say. And Sarah, you and I, like Glenn, we talk for a living. We communicate, no matter what we say. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Yeah, that's true. And that's what happened. All right, Vern, thank you for sharing that.